Nationers, we're going to react to the new Marvel Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp. If you guys are big Marvel fans, you guys would obviously know that Endgame, uh, we're in post-Endgame now. And now we're in kind of like the Phase 4 multiverse, right? Um, so Nationers, sit back, relax. We got about two minutes, 18 seconds of the brand new trailer here. That's hit it, baby. That's hit it. Here we go. You're an interesting man, Scott Lane. Paul Rudd just like walks with like so much swagger. You're an Avenger. I mean, yes, he's an Avenger. I don't you know. have a daughter. Okay. But you've lost a lot of time, like me. Is he like going to prison? Like, what's going on here? Is he like we wanting to go back? Wait, wait, wait! Did the did Wasp cut her hair? I swear her hair used to be long. I swear it used to be long. I loved her long hair Queen, in uh, Endgame. I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. Oh, okay. What's okay. that? Who's this? Time. Okay. Obviously a want need. Probably a big conflict it going on in the right movie. Existence. Holy CGI. And shatter timelines. Oh, that's scary. You cannot trust him. I swear she used to have long hair. I swear she did. Yeah, I swear. Look at that. Oh. He can give us a second chance. I'm telling you. Oh, this comes out next month. This comes out next month. This easy for you. Okay. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Oh, God! <laughs> you thought you could win. Okay, I just got curb stomped right in the face. That's win. lovely. We both just have to lose. I'm sorry, Cassie. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. This guy, this guy, this guy, the, the enemy. This guy, this guy, okay? There is a game that I used to play. There's a game. Tell me, tell me, tell me. This ain't the same guy. Like, they dress the exact same, except, like, the other guy's, like, slightly more checked up. Tell me that guy does not look like Doctor Doom, okay? Hold on. Boom. Okay. He's, like, he's, like, Hulk Doctor Doom. He is the purple. Tell me he's not, like, the same, like, looking guy. He's, like, a completely different character, but they couldn't at least, like, maybe not give him a cloak. Instead, they gave him, like, a helmet that, like, comes off. By the way, like, this scene right here, hold on, this scene, why does this look like a backdrop? Why do, it looks, it literally looks like a backdrop, like, in a, in a play. I'm sorry, it doesn't look quite good, I know, obviously, CG's not finalized, I mean, the movie comes out in a month, so we'll see. Also, this scene, when, when she goes, like, Dad, it's so funny, hold on, I'm not gonna play the audio of it, but it's so funny. She's like, Dad, and she has like no concern on her face. You may not want her to watch this. We have yep, hold on. Deal. Yeah, obviously the wants and needs. See, the guy scammed you, okay? The guy's Logan Paul. I get it. Okay. This. Oh, this. This mother fricker. Hold on. This thing. This thing looks like Eggman from freaking Super Mario Bros. Or excuse me, Sonic. Eggman. Um, Sonic, Hedge, Hog game. Boy, holy crap. Hold on. Tell me, tell me. Just bear with me here, okay, right? This thing just looks like Eggman in the Game Boy. That's what he looks like. This, this thing right here looks like an advanced Eggman. 
I don't know. This is what I'm just saying. This is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe this is Thanos. It kind of has like that shiny chrome gold look. I don't know. Why does he have little arms? Is he a beetle? I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm glad that we can confirm that she has long hair. Hold on. I'm trying to find the scene. When she goes like this. Oh, hold on. Maybe we already passed it. I don't have to win. She, like, yells dad, and it's, like, the most unenthusiastic, like, scream ever. That, that's it. That's it right there. Well, look, listen to this. This is, this is so funny. Dad! Dad! Like, like, what is she doing? <laughs> um, also, it does sound like, it does, it does look like, it's not Doctor Doom. I promise you guys that. It, that's King Dynasty, apparently. I'll look up uh, King Dynasty. Um, it might pop, pop up with Duck Dynasty, but Die, Die, Die Nasty. Die Nasty MCU. Yep, that's him. Oh, the Kang, Di Kang Dynasty. Kang, Kang, Kang. Not King. Kang Dynasty. That's him. Yep, that's him. <laughs> also, Cat, welcome back in. How are you doing today? I know you're heading out, but thank you so much for being here. Hope we had an amazing rest of your day. Um, that's me when I'm trying to embarrass my dad in public. Dad! <laughs> Mom, where are you? What aisle are you in? <laughs> Looks like Krang from TNT, TMNT. Hold on. Krang. Oh, okay. That came up immediately. Oh, you're so right. You are so right. Oh, my God. Look at this. Tell me. It, like, might be, like, a slightly more teched up version. Honestly, though, you're not, you're not wrong. What is the, Eggman is MODOK? MODOK MCU? That's Mo. oh, that's MODOK. Oh, my God. That is scary. That is very scary. <laughs> oh, God. Um, also, I, okay, so how movies are, by the way, Nationers, obviously a great Great trailer. I don't think it was like the best trailer. I think it was very just kind of like, you know, that it would very copy and paste. Like any movie could have had that, right? But um, obviously, so for the trailer, that, that trailer was made like four to five months ago. It was made a long time ago. They're just finally putting it out. So usually what you see in the trailer is what they had done CGI wise at that time. So you remember when like Sonic came out? Remember the old Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic the Hedgehog movie um, CGI? Remember, remember when, um, remember when uh, Sonic the Hedgehog used to look like this on the right? Small, pointy, petite eyes. And, and then now he kind of looks more like a hedgehog in this than he does actually like Sonic. This is what they had at the time. And it did not look good. Very saturated eyes. The eyes weren't even the same shape. The teeth were like human teeth. Um, the nose was... Not really a snout like it is in this one. Um, so yeah, how CGI would work is anything you have in the trailer is what they had done at that time. And then once obviously the trailer comes out, once the movie comes out, movie's finalized and everything. So you're probably pretty familiar with the Black Panther fight scene. Um, oh, this one. This one right here. Um, this is very awful CGI, unfortunately. This is very bad. Um, this is, this is what it looks like in the movie. I promise you. They put black suits in a very dark blue to black setting with lights that don't actually emit much light onto them. So they raise the exposure up for them and we're supposed to make out like what things are happening when their suits are black on a very black background. Um, yeah, like this is. This is what it looks like. This is legit what it looks like. This is not edited at all. This is really bad. Um, and this is really just because, like, poor planning, obviously. So, yeah. That's just my nerd brain geeking out. Good trailer, nonetheless. I really enjoyed it. <coughs> also, Kang is supposed to be the main. Um, Vital is the part one and part of, of two part Avenger movie. Oh. Okay. This is so interesting. I've never seen Ant-Man uh, in the Wasp. I didn't see the original one, like the one that came out like a year and a half ago. 
I never watched that, unfortunately. Um, I've seen like kind of like breakdowns of this, but yeah. Also, the Canadian lad, also a great uh, video essay YouTuber. This is what happens when writers actually write stuff they love and producers write uh, hire writers who know that they're doing. No characters seem out of place. This is just perfect. Oh, man, this movie's going to be so... Okay. Okay. Pretty interesting take. Oh, villain. Okay. Okay. I was like, Vital. I was like, okay. Villain. Okay. King's supposed to be the main villain. Okay. Okay. Samuel, your video is... Oh, we can watch... Yeah, we can watch it because the next one, the one after that's going to be kind of long. Um, But yeah. Nationers, this is pretty nice. JD, it was confirmed. Wait, what was confirmed? That 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 is a uh, Modoc, Mo Modoc, 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 Modoc. Um, but yeah, I I I I didn't mind it. I'm glad at least the MCU has a movie that kind of at least is rooted in something that uh is based in you know what's already happened. Because I think a lot of things that have been happening with the MCU as of recent, as a big Marvel fan myself. Maybe not like the most diehard where I'm going to buy every Marvel thing. I'm not really like that. But more or less that like loves a good story and like lo like kind of like knows the intricacies of things, right? The one thing that kind of irks me with Phase 4, there's, there's two things. One thing is that there's no common villain. There's no common goal between everything. And then two, that they're prior prioritizing quantity over quality. Um, She-Hulk, mind you, the main actress in that... Lovely actress. Great actress. I think, like, the writing in that show is very bad. Is very bad. Um, I really don't like how a lot of things have become very political in movies like this. This movie, not in particular, but, like, MCU movies. Um, where it's kind of like, instead of, like, bringing everyone up, it's like we have to lower one to then bring up another. It's like you have to bring everyone up together instead of lowering one like they did with Thor in Love and Thunder. They brought him down to bring another one up. And it didn't really fit because Thor now seems like he's like, you know, I'm kind of retired now. So, yeah, it's very disappointing um, to say the least. I think there's a few good shows that are out there. Like, Loki was pretty good. Um, so, I've heard. I haven't watched it. Um, WandaVision was obviously very good. Um, but that kind of led into, like, Doctor Strange. And I, I think the storyline of Elizabeth Olsen, who plays WandaVision, is really nice. Um, and, yeah, it's very nice. But... Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness is an awful movie, unfortunately, uh, writing-wise. It's a very awful movie, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys agree, but it's a very awful movie. Um, I could, once I kind of, like, learned, I was like, oh, crap, like, that doesn't make any sense.